All right. It is another beautiful day in Alvarna, and I'm slowly getting a lot of weapon and uh, axe, lumber, whatever it is, experience. But more important than any of that is the fact that it is the 15th, which means it's two things. It is both Gordon's birthday as well as the day we take his daughter out on a date. Wait, this is weird. I'm now realizing it's really weird. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. Oh, Kyle. You really came. I'm so pleased. You got here You got here quite early. Yes, I woke early and I've just been waiting. <laughs> you didn't have to come so early. Oh, I couldn't help it. I thought today we could just look at the ocean, just talk. Oh, um, oh, okay. I... Was the last one Kyle? I guess so. There's so many things I've wanted to ask you too, Kyle. Yes, it's a good chance to get to know each other better. Oh, yes. Um, Kyle, is there anyone that you're fond of? Now that's a direct question. Let's see. Yeah. Well, as you might guess, there are correct and there are incorrect answers here. Let's go with Mana first. Oh, you like Mana? Mana, she's pretty, so... Well, um... Well, my house does belong to Douglas, so I happen to see her a lot. That's all, I can't help noticing her. Oh, is that it? I just thought... Oh, I thought you and Mana were... Oh... Oh, there's nothing... Oh, no, there's nothing between us. That's not Dorothy, but it's fine. Well, I'll ask you a question next. Okay. Here we go. But that didn't happen. Let's go back. Julia. Julia? I didn't realize she was your type, Kyle. You don't seem like you have you two have much in common. Well, she does really know how to dress. Um, then I'm just kidding, you're right. She isn't quite my type. Don't scare me like that. Sorry. And now, the answer that'll make her happy, and honestly, true to my heart. Oh, well, um, does that mean, Kyle? Oh, um, oh, I'm not sure what to... Don't worry about it, Dorothy. Just pretend I didn't say anything. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just... <laughs> Here we go. Alright. Um... Let's be mean. You don't have very many friends, do you? Oh, but I'm friends with Julia and Rosalind. And I think having close friends is more important than how many friends you have. Yes, that's one way to look at it. But that Julia is really something, the way she gets along with everyone. I'm a little envious of Julia. I wish I could be like her. How long have you had Fern? You bring Fern everywhere. How long have you had that doll? She looks like she's been around a long time. Um, let's see, how long have I had Fern? I've had her since I was little, so I don't know exactly. But we've been together as long as I can remember. Oh, I see. She's important to you, isn't she? Yes, she's very special to me. And now? How are you? You seem more outgoing. Now you can talk without using Fern, and I think you've really changed. Oh, really? It makes me happy to hear you say that. I was just too afraid of everyone and didn't even try to get to know them. But now I've finally realized how very nice most people are. It's all because of you, Kyle. Thank you so much. No, you did it yourself, Dorothy. I just gave you a little help. You changed yourself, Dorothy. Do you really think so? Yes. I'm so happy. Alright. Kyle, if you were to get married, what kind of person do you think you'd get married to? What kind of person? Hmm, let's see. Well, all of these can be her in a different way. Let's go with this one first, because, you know, why not? Someone who's good at cooking, I guess. Good at cooking? I do the cooking at my house, but I'm not sure if it tastes good. I'd love to try your cooking sometime, Dorothy. What? Oh, I don't know, but... I'll cook up my best for you. Good, I'm looking forward to it. 
Oh dear, when you say that, it makes me kind of nervous. Someone who's a good listener. I like someone who will listen to every word I say. Kyle, do you think you might have a bit of an ego? Well, what's the point of, of if someone won't listen to what I have to say? I think your wife will have her work cut out for her. I guess so. And now, someone very kind. Someone very kind, I guess. Someone very kind? I'd like someone who's kind, too. Someone like... Someone like you, Kyle. You're a nice person, Kyle. Do you think so? I think so. Do you think I'm wrong? Well, now I wonder. Maybe my true character is actually... Oh, wait. You're frightening me. So, Dorothy... Um, <coughs> Let's go with this one first. I'd like to see your figure. Oh, I really can't do that. <laughs> I was only joking. Oh, but if it didn't sound like a joke... I'm sorry. I'd like to see your whole face. I've never seen your face, Dorothy. Could you just give me a peek? What? Well, I'm not sure. I'm kind of embarrassed. Don't be shy. Promise you won't laugh? I promise. Okay, then, just a peek. Wow. Well, what do you think? You're really pretty. Wow, Dorothy. You should have let everyone see your face. But, well, I'm just too embarrassed. I'm really amazed. Oh, but I'm so embarrassed. This is our special secret, Kyle. <laughs> well, okay. Kyle, you're just as nice as I thought you'd be. I think I like you even more now, Kyle. I find you even more charming now that I understand you too, Dorothy. Oh, well, um, I look forward to more times together like this. Me too. Today was really fun. Yes, it was really nice. Kyle, can we have another date sometime? Certainly. I'd love to. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, um, this is just a little something I'd like you to have. You got a charm. I made it for you to protect you from harm, Kyle. Thank you, Dorothy. You made this for me? I'll cherish it always. Today was... Thank you for today. Well, then, thank... See you later, Kyle. And we got a charm. Which, um... Yeah, that's our second one, so I guess we'll sell this one. It was a nice gift, though. I'll sell my old one, though. I don't actually remember where I got it. Maybe I purchased it, if they're even for sale, or maybe I got a gift from someone else. It better not have been Cammy, or else that's awkward. <laughs> okay. A request from Gordon. I got something I want to give you! Come get it! The Amethyst Ring. An astringent, cool amethyst, which creates a calm, mature atmosphere. For 5,020. If you want to be Gordon's friend, you gotta shove out, shovel out the cash, or however you would want to phrase that. <laughs> Before we head over to Gordon, let's swap out the charms. It has no actual effect on the stats or anything, but I want to say that I kept this from Dorothy. And I'll ship a gold here, as well as this Formula C. Fertilizer. Speeds up the growth of crops by three days. You'll see the difference one day after use. It's worth 900 for shipping. And, well, yes, this is actually a pretty dang good item. Uh, you need a decent amount of them to actually make it really worth it. And I'd rather have it on the ship list. Because now... Greenifier. Formula A, B, and C. So, yeah. I'm glad that we've managed to fill it out a little bit. <laughs> Even if not that much. Alright, before we do the quest. Amethyst Ring. Thanks, buddy. You're giving this to me even though it's not my birthday? I would, I'd enjoy it even more than... Bahaha! That's right, he doesn't know it's his birthday. Gordon is the character in the game who they messed up the actual setting for and he does not recognize his own birthday. Fun. <laughs> uh, I I knew there was a character. I was pretty sure it was Gordon. And then I got here. 
don't buy him stuff. It's not worth it. Maybe it's a text thing. Let's see. Gordon. He's at 7. I think he was already at 7. I'm not positive, though. Let's see. You've read the bulletin board, Kyle! There's something I need need to say to you. It's about Dorothy! You probably already know, but my daughter, Dorothy, she's had a shadow... A darkness over her heart. It's a good heart, but she's always kept it hidden from others. As her father, I've always tried to be her strength, her cornerstone. But I could never free her heart from that shadow. But you, Kyle, thanks to you, I think Dorothy has finally been able to bring her heart into the light and let others see it. I don't know what you did, but I do know that ever since you started talking to her, my daughter's become an almost completely different person. You've been able to bring to what I, her own father, couldn't. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You were able to open up your heart, so I... I'd be proud to call you my son. You may marry my daughter with my full blessing. Of course, it's up to you, Kyle. I will make you marry my daughter if you don't want to. But if you choose to, I've been working hard on a special pendant for my daughter. I've blessed it with holy rites, and I've filled it with a... With the power to protect her from disasters. Everything I've had you bring me has been for that pendant. I was hoping that would help her to feel safe enough that she'd open up to people. It was the only thing left that I could think of. But it looks that it wasn't what she needed to open up after all. I want you to have it, Kyle. You've been a greater source of strength for Dorothy than I could ever be. If you give this to her, I believe it would be more to her than mean more to her than it would if I gave it to her. Please take it. The Blessing Pendant. You can do with that as you wish. I've only one thing to ask of you. Don't do anything to hurt Dorothy. <laughs> uh, the Blessing Pendant. A handmade pendant for Dorothy entrusted to you by Gordon. Protects Bear from harm. Another marriage item. That's seven. That is every marriage item in the game. All in one spot. Yep, we're at the end. We're here. And I know true fear. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at the quest list. Because I think that's it. We have Cecilia's quest, which is the direct marriage thing. Yep, and that's it. We are done with every request for now. So now it's just birthdays and festivals and there aren't that many left so we're done for today Egan's birthday is the next one then we'll be having a festival on the 25th and then Rosalind's birthday will be on the 27th I will meet you back in five days from now on as far as birthdays go I will just pop in showing you what to buy and then showing you the text we're not gonna be doing any of the rest of this <laughs> Thanks for uh, popping in. Ah, that's it. Stew. Milk and vegetables boiled together. A creamy white stew is one of the most popular varieties. For $32.80. Alright, it's Tuesday the 21st. So, again, it's your birthday. Thank you. That looks delicious. Thanks for the birthday present. It was just what I always wanted. Oh me. Oh my. Good morning. <laughs> You always look so healthy and cheerful. Ah, thank you. Have any of your memories come back yet, Kyle? No, not a thing. I see. You'll be alright, though. Just give it time. They'll return. I'm kind of enjoying the life I'm living, though. Hopefully they never come back. <laughs> alright, it is the 25th. So let's talk with everyone. Today is the monster contest. I like this festival myself. The monster contest is today. Exciting, isn't it? Today's the monster contest. And for some reason, that's all she has to say. Weirdly enough. It's the monster contest. You really want to show off your monsters that badly. It's the monster contest today, isn't it? Today's the monster contest. It's stupid for all of you to get so worked up over nothing important. Nah, I'm sure it's fine. I have fun with it, so why not? Morning. Good morning, Kyle. Today's the monster contest. I wonder what monsters are going to make an appearance this time. I have a lot of fun at this competition. Aren't you scared of the monsters, UA? No, I feel more thankful for them than anything. The claws and hides can sell for a lot of money, you know? I see. Hmm. It's fair. But 
can't stay away from Sylvie. Kyle, you've been raising a monster that you're really proud of. If you've been, how about you try entering the competition taking the top prize? Sylvie will win. Good morning. Good morning. Today's the monster contest. Have you raised some good ones? Today is the day of the monster contest. I wonder who will win this year. Why don't you take part, Kyle? Could be interesting. Bad on it, bad on it. Good morning, Kyle. Can I t interest you in a new sword? Ah, the monster contest. Do you think it'd be more interesting if we gave all the monsters swords and had them fight? Um, it would be, but it might also be a little dangerous. Really? I was thinking it might be a good chance for my shop to break in some cash. Yes, I'd earn you money. But Sylvie, uh... Sylvia with a sword is a dangerous combo. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. You're looking strong and healthy as usual. Today's the con today's contest is a match of her friendly monsters' power. Unfortunately, I don't keep any friendly monsters of my own. So there's no way for me to enter. Am I the only one? It's the monster contest day. Come to think of it, maybe the monsters could use a bath, too. Hmm. It doesn't really seem like they would, but maybe they do? Never taking a bath? It must be so dirty. Maybe I'll teach them all about the wonders of a bath. You'd get so much fur. So much fur in that bath of yours. Today's the monster contest. I'd like to see what kind of monsters you've got up your sleeve, Kyle. A monster contest? Monsters are so cool! Girls don't usually say things like that, do they? Really? But they're really cool! Today's the monster contest. It's always a really interesting time. These ones are done! You done? You think you can take me? Don't forget me! Oh, today's the monster contest. I don't quite understand the purpose of this tournament. I mean, how many people own monsters in this town? Morning. Morning, Kyle. You'll give more manly every day. Today's the monster contest. Nothing wrong with a little of that never now and then. Of course. Morning! Morning, Kyle! You've become quite the man! Today's the monster contest! Monsters live in this world, too! We must treat them with humanity and compassion! I'm sure. Now, Herman. Oh, Kyle! Will you be participating in the monster contest? The monster contest measures the strength of one of your monster companions. And if you win that special, someone's opinion of you will no doubt go up. What's more, the winner will receive a fabulous prize. So how about it? Hi, men. Please send at least one of your monsters back to the forest to make some space. No. No. Why was that text there? I don't, I don't think it makes any sense. What? And now for the rules. First, please measure the strength of your monster. To measure the strength of your monster, add the monster you want to use to your party. Once you've added the monster, go ahead and talk to it and find out its strength. If your monster's strength exceeds that of the other submissions, you win. Do you need to hear the rules again? No, I'm good. Okay, mon monster contest, start! So, uh, I think it's pretty clear. Sophie's cute. Let's bring it to the monster contest. This monster's strength appears to be 50. Let's see here. Uh, we'll see whether this is enough. I have no idea. I've got a good idea of its strength. I'll send it back to the barn. Going back to the barn, okay? Oh, this monster's stronger than I could have ever imagined! We're surely witnessing history in the making! The highest honors go to Kyle's submission! Congratulations! I hereby confer upon you the title of Monster Master! Your honorable mention will be rewarded with a health it! Yep. Kyle, your monster is officially Monster of the Year! on Sylvie. I knew they could do it. But health it. Medicine that heals all status ailments, packed with the latest health supplements. Nice. Awesome. Ship it. An impress impressive performance, Kyle. Try to maintain that high level in everything you do. So I don't know the cutoff for any of that. I just know that if you're at uh, max, then you should be good. <laughs> Superb. You monster really tore it up out there, Kyle. I recognize it would have been done even better if it was equal to the sword, though. Wow, you've got some amazing monsters. How on earth did you become friends with such powerful monsters? I'd really like to hear all about it. Well, I let it kick the crap out of me until we were friends, and then I got my communication skill up extremely fast. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. 
Wow, Kyle, I was so surprised. Heck yeah. How wonderful. Looks like the strong fellow follow the stronger oh, fellow. <laughs> well, that was something else, Kyle. You blew me away. You did it, Kyle. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Kyle, I've, I'd expect no less from you. That was pointless. What could that do anyone? It made Sylvie feel better. Sylvie's proud because Sylvie's lovable. I love that little furball. Morning. Don't think you won by your own strength. Well, I did raise it. <laughs> but nah, Sylvie's great. Well, I'm sure you could be an expert monster handler, Kyle. Kind of am. No way. Kyle, you really did it. You won. Congratulations. Kyle, you can do just about anything, can't you? I'm surprised. You get along well with those things, don't you? Kyle, you did well today! It's kind of sad that Gordon doesn't give any longer of a thing about it. He's always just pretty abrupt. Morning. I can't believe the monsters you got working for you, Kyle! Kyle, you were amazing! Well, Kyle, congratulations! And that's everyone. So, we're done for today. Alright, I'll meet you guys back here the day after tomorrow for Rosalind's birthday. Skip! All right, we're gonna purchase some hot milk, the simplest of dishes, just more milk. Very relaxing, it's perfect on a sleepless night. 1400, fairly cheap for somebody so rich. Where is she? Alvarna Chapel. But I looked in there. What? Did I miss her? Or did she just get there? Oh, you were in the back. Got it. Hot milk! Thank you, you remembered my birthday! I'm absolutely delighted. I don't know what it is, but I'm always happy when I get to see your face. I hope that we can keep being such close friends, Kyle. Of course, I'll make sure of it. Although, honestly, I don't think it'll be too hard. Me neither. So, there's nothing else for the rest of autumn. I will harvest all of my crops on the last day of autumn, but otherwise we're done with crops for the year. I'll keep growing mine throughout the year. Now I'll see you all on the 2nd of December, aka Dorothy's birthday. All right guys, it is now winter, and rather than waiting till the 2nd, I really want to see what it sounds like. I think that's a loop. Like I mentioned, I typically play this game just like with a vi YouTube video or something going, so I don't hear the music. I love it. I actually really do like this music. I wish it played indoors and maybe in other areas surrounding the farm, like you could hear it. Because I don't spend a huge amount of time here during the winter, especially. I chop stuff down as I did earlier today, but yeah. Real quick, before we move on, I am currently at this. 99 farming, 85 mining, 35 fishing, 16 logging, 59 magic, 36 weapons. Yeah. And I'm level 14 currently. We may be able to get to level 15 by the end of the year. And that would be awesome. So let's talk to some people and see how they feel. Good morning, Kyle. I can interest you in new sword. 
That Roy always goes running off somewhere. There's nothing wrong with playing around when you're his age, but I just hope he isn't giving anyone else any trouble. I just haven't spoken with people during their normal daily stuff recently, so Hello. I figured it'd be fun. I hope that we can keep being such close friends, Kyle. And of course, I'll make sure of it. Okay, I think that was the same thing as before. Hi, Kyle. Do you know about the forced beginnings, Kyle? No, I don't. Every monster you defeat is sent back to the forest beginnings. I don't know how it works, but it's true. We need something to do. You're looking in the wrong place, human. Yeah, I've heard about it. Oh, you have? Forget it, then. Okay. Well, thanks for trying to be helpful. Hi. Hello, Kyle. Um, Kyle? Yes, what is it? Oh, um, thank you for talking to me. Ever since I've met you, Kyle, well, I feel like, um, I've changed a little bit. Oh, I'm really th Oh, I'm really thankful that I met you too, Dorothy. Remember how you used to run away when we first met? <laughs> You've really changed a lot since then. Yeah, that feels like such a long time ago. I'm really happy we're friends, Kyle. Oh, Baby. Tomorrow's your birthday. Actually, wait, if I talk to you again, does that trigger a second dial? Okay, so I skip through this. Just be careful not to slip and fall, okay? Oh, yeah, everyone has different dialogue. Uh, he really is a good kid deep down, but he's just so high, but I don't know where he gets that. Sure you don't. This sword glitting silver as though it can slice through anything, so cold that even winter can match it. Okay, and that means Rosalind should have different dialogue on the second one, too. The whole world looks different when it's blanketed in snow. Kyle, can I tell you something? Sure, what is it? I mean, I'm really happy to have met you, Kyle. I'm happy to have met you, too. Really, thanks. I'm happy as long as we get to see each other every day. I like talking outside sometimes, even if it is cold. Know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey there! Hey there, Kyle! Mommy, my mom's a bit odd, isn't she? She may look normal at first glance, but as soon as someone measures swords, her eyes change. Want to make a snowman together? Let's see who can make the biggest. Do you want to build a snowman? Come on, let's play. Hiya. Hey, Kyle, have you ever heard of the Elder Dragon? I saw it in the picture book. It's the Western Dragon that's supposed to be really big and really scary. Okay, here it, Kyle. Close your eyes and count to 100. I'll go hide. Come on, you're not into it at all. Kyle, do you have a minute? What is it, UA? Thank you for always coming to my store and for always talking to me. Oh no, it's my pleasure. You always do so much for me, UA. I look forward to your continuous patronage and to more good conversations. Yes, me too. Welcome. I'm not about to lose out to this cold. Hi, hey, Kyle. How are you? Do you need something? Oh no, I was just... What are you after? I'm just looking at the sea. Am I bothering you? No, not at all. Hi there. Hey, Kyle. I'm glad that we're friends, Kyle. I'm glad too. I predicted we'd be friends the day I met you. I'm really glad that prediction came true. Oh, I, same thing again, huh? You don't care about the winter, I guess. What's it gonna be for Dorothy's birthday? It will snow tomorrow. Who would have seen that one coming? Wait, snow might actually be the rain of this season? So that might actually water my crops, which would be cool. You're looking strong and healthy as usual. Tell me, Kyle, what elements of our land do you feel are not needed for our future? Um, creation of an army. Hey now, that is hardly something for a farmer to say, is it? I hope you're just kidding. Remember that sometimes it is better to simply keep your mouth closed. The entrance to this manor always has a certain aromatic fragrance. Fragrances are one of my father's hobbies. Take a nice deep breath. Doesn't it smell nice? It's rosewood. Don't you think it's the perfect woody aroma for winter? Not to brag about my own family, but my father's really good at creating fragrances. What elements are not needed for our future? Consideration of nature? A good answer, Kyle. Indeed, the textbook answer, perfect. I feel like there was a typo in there somewhere. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kyle. I hope you're eating well today. 
Let me teach you the proper way to eat a rice ball. It's simple, really. Just put a big glob of mayonnaise right on top of the rice, almost like magic. The flavor of rice and mayonnaise will combine in a perfect harmony. Please just try it once, you'll see that I'm right. Today's schedule is work, work, work. Work, hop, step, jump, snack, 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 snack. Well, I see nothing changes with you, no matter which season it is. I hope this world will remain at peace. There's so much more to lose in a war than there is to gain. It's cold outside, isn't it? Please relax and enjoy yourself. Look at the beautiful winter scenery outside. It is really nice. Hello there! Hello, Kyle! You've become quite the man! You've been here for a while, so maybe you're starting to notice things in town that aren't qu you are entirely happy with. Simply keeping things like that to yourself isn't going to solve anything! Oh, did you come to hear one of our sermons? Have a seat, listen well! In this world... Sorry, I have to get going now. We'll have to save it for next time. Bye! What the heck... What the heck isn't there a bar in this town? Any idea? Uh, not enough space? Maybe there just isn't any room for new businesses. Yeah, maybe you're right. There's no more room for this town to expand. The weather might have changed, but I see your sermons never stop. That's what faith is all about! Fair enough. I don't think I'm going to speak to everyone, but it's nice seeing people enjoying things. I'll talk to them at my own pace. <laughs> so sure enough, when it's snowing, that means it's raining in the dungeons. Strawberry jam, a sweet preserve made from strawberries, generally eaten spread on bread or toast. It's only 1000 G. And it is your best girl. Sorry, Yue. It looks frozen over as if you can't actually interact with it. You can, but it just looks how it looks, I guess. Hello, Dorothy. Strawberry jam. Thank you. A birthday present for me? Thank you. Anytime, baby. You need to dress up warm, okay? Absolutely will. If I could change my clothes. So that's it for Dorothy today. It's just a small thing, and this is a good way to up her affection and all that. We love Dorothy. She is baby. She is honestly my favorite. One of my favorite characters in this game. And my favorite girl. So, I'll see you all on the 7th for the Shooting Star Festival. A pretty cool one. And one that we'll be covering pretty deep in detail. Alright, welcome to the Shooting Star Festival. This is the day where you invite a special girl, one special girl, out for a nice nighttime viewing. We're gonna talk to all the non bachelorettes. Morning. Morning, Kyle. It's the Shooting Star Festival. I wonder if Cece is going. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. I've got to do all to make wishes on stars. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. I wonder who Rosalind's going with. It'll be me. Uh, it'll probably be you in this reality. It's the Shooting Star Festival tonight. A sword glitter in the faint light of the stars is so mysterious, so beautiful. The Shooting Star Festival, I occasionally... I guess occasionally I should make the first move with the girls. Why don't you summon your courage and take a girl out to watch the starry night sky? I mean, we plan on it. Bad on it, bad on it, bad on it. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. Do you know there are actually things called meteors? Today's the Shooting Star Festival. I wonder how many shooting stars we'll see. I'm gonna count them all. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. It's always a really nice romantic time. Uh, but I worry about kids walking around late at night. I mean, walking around late at night with no machine or anything is typically not that bad of a thing. It's... More so if there are bad people, and there's no one ever visiting this town. Ah, uh, the Shooting Star Festival is such a beautiful occasion! It's said that a wish made upon a shooting star will come true! How about giving it a try? I always wish each and every year for the peace and development of our town! Today's the Shooting Star Festival, our day when the stars make the sky look beautiful! Another one of them's done! This is amazing! Ah, today's the Shooting Star Festival. It reminds me of the old days. Douglas or Gordon, I was always worried over whose invitation to accept. Okay, seriously though, this doesn't make sense because all of them have separate kids. Who did you accept? Was it some random third party from outside town? Who was it? 
I want to know. This is going too deep. Morning. Morning, Carl. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. No, like I should have to mention this, but don't expect me walking around alone with my men at late at night. Today's the Shooting Star Festival! All this talk about wishing upon a star is making me feel kind of romantic! But even if you wish upon a star, you still need to work hard for your wishes to come true! Alright, that is every non-bachelor right now. So, I'm gonna go water the couple crops I still have to do over at Blessia. We're going to start inviting people out at 5 p.m. And we're gonna do each one in a row in a reverse time and everything, because... You can't. You can only do one girl per year. So, yeah. And now to waste more time, time to fish. Oh. A gorilla. Uh, sure. Another gorilla. Uh, I guess we'll keep the higher level of two. They're the exact same, so in you go. I mean, it's not a gorilla, but still. I don't want it. Skill up. All right, it is now 4.30. So our goal for today is to hang out with every girl, kind of. So let's start with Julia here. Hi. Afternoon. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. Isn't it romantic? Want to go look at the stars together? Is that an invitation? Hmm. Okay, I'll go see the stars with you, Kyle. So let's meet Alvarna on a falling star path at 9 tonight, okay? I'll be waiting for you, so don't stand me up. Watch your steps so you don't slip and fall in the ocean. I know you love trying dangerous things. I don't do that kind of thing. Yo, Kyle. Hello, Max. Hello, Julie. Julie? What? <laughs> uh, what are you staring at? Oh, nothing. You and Julia are just... look like you're getting along well. Sure, we're good friends. <laughs> Kyle, I've known... I've known in this village you're getting along well with all the girls. Isn't that right? All you... all you little girls just love Max, don't you? You know... I just can't help being charmed by all the girls in this world and the beauty and talent they're born with. Uh, well... A snowman might be the perfect practice dummy. I don't know about that, but sure. You haven't already invited uh, someone else, have you, Kyle? Listen, Kyle, are you already going with someone else? My reading reveals everything. I bet I could sell I could sell a shooting star for a lot of money, but none of them seem to be landing here. Kyle, maybe you've already got a date. I love the mystery of shooting stars. Hold on, Kyle. Are you sure you haven't already asked someone else? Sorry to keep you waiting, Julia. I was waiting for you, Kyle. I wonder if we'll really be able to see the shooting stars. Let's move somewhere where they'll be easier to see. I'm nervous. Me too. I'm wondering when the stars are going to show up. Well, there's something else making me nervous, but... Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh, I just saw one. So pretty. Wow, they're so beautiful. Of course, I have to make a wish. I wonder if it'll show up again. I wish I were pretty... It's already gone. It disappears so quickly. It's hard to fit in a whole wish before it disappears, isn't it? It really is. If I had a little more time, then I could really make it a good one. <laughs> if only. Aren't you going to make one too? No. I'm happy just watching. Hey, that's kind of cold. Uh, all this wishing has made me tired. You're so beautiful. This is so romantic. This is really amazing. I never thought I'd get to see so many shooting stars. I'm so happy I got to see them with you. I'm happy I got to see them with you, too. <laughs> well, I'm getting kind of chilly. Let's go home. Let's. I think we've seen enough of the stars for tonight. Thanks. Thanks so much for inviting me today. See you later. I'm really happy that I got to see them with you. Well, on that note, good night, Julia. Bye-bye. And that was Julia. But, that never happened. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. Say you want to go together? Oh, with you? Um, well... No? 
Now, if you want to go, we can go. Great. I'll be waiting for you over on a falling star path at 9 o'clock tonight. Oh, anything interesting happening lately, Kyle? Nothing really comes to mind, no. We could always go on a date, Kyle. That might be interesting. Alicia, what's gotten into you? That was a joke, Mana. How about you and me go on a date, Kyle? CC. Kidding. Maybe we should let Kyle decide who he goes out with. Hey, I'm staying out of this one. How'd this get started anyway? Have you been waiting long, CC? No, I just got here myself. I hope you get to see a shooting star. I hope you get to see a shooting star. I'm so excited. Me too. Please let us see a shooting star. Please let us see a shooting star. Hey, did you see it? Yeah, there it was. I'm so glad we got to see it together, Kyle. There goes another. There are a lot out tonight. Maybe they were expecting us? Well, I don't know about that, but it was nice, though. I really had a nice time tonight, Kyle. So did I. Whenever you smile, it makes me want to smile too, Kyle. Really? Well, I'm happy to hear that. I wish that Kyle and I would become closer to each other. Did you make a wish? Um, well, actually, yeah, yeah, I did. I guess I wish that me and you might become closer. Really? That's... That's the exact same thing I wished for. Thanks for inviting me here tonight, Kyle. I had a great time. Me too. Well, see you tomorrow. Pretty sweet. But it never happened. Today is the Shooting Star Festival. Shooting stars, shooting stars. Don't you think the words just sound so romantic? Get that right? <laughs> okay. Well, you have Would You Like to Go See them together, and would you have? Okay. You have Would You Like to Go See, or you have them together, and then there's the third option. You can't pick. Um, they're nice. Yes and no on the top one and the bottom one. Well, I can't think of any reason to say no. Let's go together. Okay, I'll be waiting at Varna Falling Star Path at nine tonight. Hey, Kyle. You probably want to know what Ros and I are doing, don't you? What? Uh, well, um, yes, actually. We're on a dit. We just happened to pass by on the street, that's all. Uh, really? Yes, that and nothing more. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is sad, though. I love Ray. He doesn't deserve that. I hope I'll be able to see lots of stars in the sky tonight. Kyle! Sorry to keep you waiting, Browser. Please give me your hand. Allow me to escort her to a place with a better view. Oh, that's nice of you, if you insist. I'm... I was here hours early, and it's still before the meeting time. Rosalind's hand is as cold as ice. I'm sorry I was so late. Your hands are freezing. Don't worry about it, my hands will warm up in yours. See, they're warmer already. Yeah, they are. Kyle? What's going on? Oh, I didn't expect a choice here, I've never... Uh... Hmm, maybe that's moving too fast. Look at that! Hmm? Wow, I've never seen that many shooting stars before. Yeah, wow, me neither. Okay, time to kiss. Okay. Rothland. Okay. So it doesn't actually change anything. You just had to go through three text boxes to work up the courage to try to kiss her. Yeah, oh wow, me neither. I feel like I'm watching a whole group of shooting stars fall, like they're all connected somehow. Me too. So beautiful, you can really just lose yourself in them. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like I blew the kiss. But whatever, I mean, it sh seems like she's having a really good time. Well, it's getting pretty cool, so why don't we head home? Okay. 
I know the shooting star. Really where? Look right over there. I see it. Uh, did she just Cal, you give me a better evening than I could ever have possibly wanted. Take as take that as my thanks to you. Okay, thanks. So let's call it a night. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. You too. How about if I don't try to kiss her? Does that change the later dialogue? Okay, it does not change the dialogue, so we're done. Rosalind is very romantic and absolutely sweet. She's a go-getter and knows what she wants. But sadly, that never happened. It's the Shooting Star Festival tonight. Would you like to see the stars with me? Yes. What? Yes, I'd love to. Well then, tonight at night I'll be waiting in Alvarnash, falling star path. Dorothy, sorry to keep waiting. You came, Kyle. Let's move to a spot where we can see better. Do you think we'll see some shooting stars? I'm getting quite excited, actually. Me too. Ah, uh, there. How beautiful. For just an instant, I saw one. Shooting stars are so mysterious, aren't they? So beautiful. It's strange. Why do we find them so beautiful, do you think? Oh, another one. How lovely. Really lovely. I'm so glad to have seen this with you, Kyle. I'll treasure this memory forever. I'm glad to have seen this with you too, Dorothy. It's starting to cool down, Kyle, isn't it? I have poor circulation, it Circulation. It means I don't like the cold. Ah, uh, then shall we head back? We wouldn't want to catch cold either, would we? No, of course not. Thank you for today. I was very happy to be invited by you. And I was happy to invite you, Dorothy. I'll see you soon, I hope. Yes, good night, Kyle. Incredibly sweet and friendly. But it never happened. Today's the Shubin Star Festival. I like stargazing. Will you go stargazing with me? What? With me? Really? Um, Kyle. I'll be waiting for your Avana Falling Star Path at night tonight. You'd better be there. This is a really wonderful village, don't you think so? I wish you would hurry up and be 8-9 already. I want to go watch the shooting stars. Were you waiting here long? No, don't worry about it. I'm glad you came, Kyle. Let's go somewhere it's easier to see. I'm looking forward to seeing the shooting stars. Me too. I wonder how many we'll be able to see. I hope we get to see a lot of them. Oh look, there's one already. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I lost myself there for a moment, and we'll foresee another shooting star. I hope to remember to make a wish next time. May I have... Oh, what's all right? Go on. <laughs> they disappear too fast. Maybe you should try a shorter wish. I can... I can say it fast enough. Watch, I'll get it this time. May I have good bis... Ugh. I'll try to think about my own tongue. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I, but I don't think I'll be trying that again. Still, I'm glad I got to see the stars with you, Kyle. <laughs> Me too, you I. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. It's starting to get chilly. We should head back before we end up catching a cold. Shall we go? Thanks for tonight, Kyle. I had a great time with you. I won't forget it, you I. Thanks. Good night, Kyle. See you later. A sweet scene. And it kind of goes to show that that's very her. But it never happened. Today's the Shooting Star Festival. My fortune said I'd be asked out by... Would you like to go stargazing with me? What? With you? Hold on, I need to check my fortune. Sim Salabim. Sim, 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 sim. Well, it said I can go with you. 
I'll meet you at Varna's Falling Star Path at 9 tonight. Okay, were you trying to eavesdrop on our gossip? No, of course not. <laughs> you shouldn't tease Kyle so much. Alicia, sorry to make you wait. It's okay, I just got here myself. Well, my reading said we should start seeing Falling Stars soon. I'm nervous. Your reading said we'd be able to see shooting stars. I wonder if it'll come true. Of course it will. My readings always come true. Look, a falling star. I was right. You were. I'm so happy, but I forgot to make a wish. Oh well, there'll be more. Look, did you see? You're on a roll. I really am an amazing fortune teller after all. Look, another one. There's a lot tonight, isn't there? It makes me happy to see my fortunes come true. And I'm happy, too, to see you smiling like that. Oh, I'm happy, too, just to see the falling stars with you, Kyle. Really? Yeah, it's not a fortune or anything, just my feelings. Thanks for inviting me tonight, Kyle. I had a good time. Me, too. Okay, talk to you later. Cute. But it never happened. Hi there, Mana. The Shin Star Festival is tonight. Wanna watch the stars with me? What, with you, Kyle? Okay, I will. Okay, I'll meet you all Varna Falling Star Path at 9 tonight. I love it when Alicia, Steely, and I all get together and talk like this. Yes, it's nice, but I get taken out on fabulous dates so often, it seems like we never have the time for these gatherings. You shouldn't tell such outlandish lies, Alicia. Hey, don't crush my fantasies like that. I can't wait for nine tonight. I hope you see some wonderful shooting stars. Man, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Don't be, I just got here too. Come and join me then, Kyle. This is all very exciting. I hope we get to see some good shooting stars. I'm excited too. I'm excited about something else, actually. You are? Oh, don't worry about that now. Shooting star, how beautiful. Yeah, I saw it too. I have to make a wish. Oh, I can't see it anymore. Do you think another one will come along? I need to get closer to Kyle. Another one. That's fast. There's no way we can wish before they vanish. It's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Another one. How romantic. There's sure a lot of them tonight. I'm so happy that I could see them with you, Kyle. I am so happy, yeah. I'm so happy. I'm happy to share this with you too, Mana. Thanks. Well, shall we get going? Yeah, okay. Thank you for inviting me. I'll see you tomorrow, I hope, Kyle. I'm so happy. Me too. See you then. And that's everyone. We're done for tonight. So, this should be the end of this episode, probably. It makes sense to end it here. Guys, next time, let's play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. We're going to be probably going through the rest of winter. And depending on how long that takes, we may also do the marriage stuff during that. I am not promising, because if it's anything like the last season has been, and it takes this long, then absolutely not. <laughs> There's no chance of that. Guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.